My name is Meg and I'm the director. I'm Paris and I'm the producer. My name is Lachlan and I'm the editor of the film. My name is Nick, I'm the sound man. Uh, my name is Lewis and I was the cinematographer. My name is Lachlan, I play the zombie. I am Eleanor. I am the actress who plays Blair on the project Blair. <laughs> Why did you first start acting? Oh, um, I kind of just had like a little check on my life <laughs> um, and um, I sort of, while we've been in lockdown, um, I just sort of thought, you know, I've got all this time, mm -hmm. I may as well try a few things that um, I've always had an interest in but I've just never pursued for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. um, and acting was one of those things, so... Acting was never anything that I had actually had in my intentions of doing throughout all of college. Whenever there was a side character or a main character or anything, they were like, Hey Lachlan, you want to be in it? And I'm like, sure, whatever, just put me in, put me in boys, you know. So this is what I've done now because we couldn't find a, a zombie actor, so obviously someone had to step up to the plate. And it's me, you're the unsung hero of this production. Uh, what <laughs> drew you to the project? I wrote it. Ooh, um, it just sounded really interesting. And then when I got the script, I was like, I, I love this. Because it was <laughs> like, um, there, there's not loads of dialogue, but mm -hmm. of what there is, it's like, it's really comedic. And I love that yeah. sort of thing. Like, mm -hmm. And that's what drew me to it, I think. What did you have to do on the project? Um, good question. Um, pretty much all the paperwork, so I had to do all the schedules and the call sheets and the risk assessments and get the actors and the locations and stuff. I was in charge of the um, camera and the shooting on set, um, so doing all the setups, getting all the shots, working with the director to make sure it all looks good. I had to come up with how it was going to be filmed and what it's going to look like. Um, I was also in charge of production design as well, so we got to do all the props and stuff, which is fun. Absolutely everything. So when all the footage comes together, I've got to put it together in a timeline. I've got to sell all the audio. I've got to grade it. I basically have to put all the thing together as soon as everything has been done. My role was everything involved in sound. I was there on the day recording all the sound takes, um, doing a few Foley takes when we couldn't do stuff on the day and capturing any ambient noises, which we could add to the edit after. Uh, what was the process like? Stressful. Oh, tough. Kind of stressful, but um, I'd say we worked through. I'd say we pulled through. Um, I've never done anything like this big before, so it was uh, it was a tough one. But I think we managed it okay, and we pulled it together in the end. So it was all right. It was quite long because we had a lot of pre-production and then um, getting to the shoot and then the shoot felt like it went really quick because it was only four days. It was fun, you know, it went really quickly, time passed well, um, had a good team to rely on, so that was good. Well, so I started, all the footage would be shot, I'd log it, so I'd put down what was good, what was bad, for all the file names and stuff, and then I'd put it into a timeline and work out how long the film was and talk about any cuts if needed necessary so that we could fit to the time frame, and then I'd put the audio in by syncing up the clapperboard, the snaps that they do, to the footage and the audio, and then bish bash bosh, there's your movie, you've done it. Then you add sound, you add, cool, sound? Oh, you add sound, you add music. And then you got your movie, you know, how beautiful. What were you most excited about? Um, the head smashing stuff with the blood splatter because it was quite interesting to try and work it out. Probably the most obvious one, but it was the zombie, the zombie head smash. Um, what were you most excited about? Ooh, probably the blood scene. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think everyone's scene was yeah. <laughs> the blood scene. Ooh, um, I was most excited about getting to do some SFX makeup because I haven't done that in ages and ages and it was very fun uh, doing it on Lachlan. And I was also excited about doing fake blood because fake blood is very exciting, it's very fun. I was quite excited to edit the smoke. I think it looked really cool on camera. So to edit it and give it some foley in the background where it's like, shh, was, was, was top notch that was, that was something else. 
Probably uh, watching the zombie get taken out. What was your favourite part? Uh, my favourite part was not actually in the film, it was a Lachlan and Eleanor constantly fighting each other <laughs> off set. My favourite part was when we tested the fake blood in our garden and I got absolutely covered in it. It was great, I loved it. What was your favourite part? Same answer, because it was like trying to test it with a water bottle first and getting the angle and getting it in time with the baseball bat coming down. It was fun. What was your favourite part? <laughs> My favourite part, um, probably all the blood splatter we did. Mm -hmm. Yeah. My favourite part was also editing the uh, the head smash at the end because I like I with the foley I got to go you know smash some watermelons so I got to sync them up pretty well. That was kind of cool. Then I got a bone crunch sound effect and I mashed them together in the edit. So now it sounds really good, really high quality stuff. Yeah, probably the blood scene. You wouldn't <laughs> think though, because obviously I'm getting doused in blood, hence mm -hmm. why I have my hair up in a bubble. Um, but no, it was quite everything about it. It was entertaining. It was dramatic because everyone we only had one shot, yeah. you know, so everyone was like. <laughs> so yeah, it was really good. I really enjoyed it. What were you most nervous about? Um. I would say recording the sound myself because I've had not had that much experience, so it's kind of a nervy thing. But after you get in, you, you shoot everything, and you go through the days, it starts to get easier and easier. My actual abilities in the role, yeah. the smoke grenades, because of all the risk assessments and the um, country park staff not being okay with it because obviously it generates a lot of smoke and people might have been concerned even though it's bright purple. I think I was most nervous about like working with an actor I'd never met before. Um, obviously Eleanor was great and she was like super cooperative and did everything we told her to do but ooh, it was it was n I was scared nervous but it was very cool in the end so it's fine. Um, the spell. The mm -hmm. spells. Um, just because all, all the witchy, spelly stuff that I watch, you, you know, they do it with like some sort of accent and make it sound really witchy and really, really, yeah. really good. And I was like, how am I going to do that? <laughs> <laughs> making sure that I could actually edit it properly and make sure that we don't go over the time frame. So we went through quite a fair amount of cuts to get it to the time frame that we needed. So how did you find overall? Um, pretty good. I think it went pretty smoothly. There was a lot of planning involved and it was quite interesting to do a project that big because I haven't done a project that big before. It was pretty groovy. It's been really good because have, after not filming for nearly a year it's really good to get out and film with people and get a project done. Um, it's very stressful uh, but I think we worked together pretty, pretty dang well and we all came together in the end. We had a few wobbles on, on set. It was alright. We sort it out. I found it quite a nice, nice experience. I basically do editing for most of the things, most of these projects anyway. So I've done quite a lot of it, but it was, it was just nice to see it all come together in the end. You know, I felt like I did a good job. Yeah, it was good overall. I liked it. It was, uh, it was different. It was a good experience, and overall, I think it went pretty good. Yeah, really good. Um, obviously there was teething problems on the first day, but <laughs> everyone has those. It's fine. Mm -hmm. Um. But yeah, it felt really organised. Um, mm -hmm. You could you could tell that everyone was like so invested in it and cared about it so much. Mm -hmm. um, and I think and I hope that that's really shone through in yeah. the final edit. And finally, how would you kill a zombie? Uh, I well, if I was gonna kill a zombie, I'd want to be as far away from it as possible. So I'd probably just like poke it away with a stick and like poke it into like a train track or something so it would get run over or like into a road so just get away because I don't want to get near it because I don't want to get bitten mm. so I'd, I'd keep my distance you know or if it was like near me I'd grab the, the nearest thing to me and be like Ugh! and then yeah. pop it on the head nice. um the way that Blair does it probably with a baseball bat because the head damage is what like takes them out what kills them uh, and or a chainsaw Ash Williams because it's efficient and it seems it seems to work pretty well. 
I was thinking about this and I thought I'll just attach a bunch of fireworks to it and just see. Oh, I mean, it has to be decapitation, doesn't it? Like, that's the standard. That's the that's yeah. the one that everyone goes to. It mm -hmm. would be very violent. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Might throw up after. Good old pump action shotgun. With my bare hands. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>